All right. The first card we have for you is the rebel. You may be feeling very rebellious this month of May. That's awesome. Why not? So you may be doing, um, you may be feeling, no, thinking about different ways uh, of doing things that you normally uh, haven't done them. Uh, you may be thinking of ways that you can do things differently, but in a rebellious lay, way, opposed to the typical following the rules and um, doing, the, doing the right thing always in the right time. So you guys might be thinking, hey, I'm too strict on myself or strict on a situation. And you might be doing things totally different. And it may be feeling very rebellious to you. Um, and it might get you um, to a very uh, successful outcome. The next card we have is the mind. You guys might be thinking too much. You might be in your head a lot this month of May. Um, for some of you, you will be driving yourself crazy, um, thinking and thinking and thinking, um, over and over and over again about certain things. So don't drive yourself crazy this month. If some of you guys are thinking way too much about something, um, definitely, definitely take the time to, um, separate yourself from whatever fears that, that are going on in your mind or thoughts that are ruminating over and over again. It'll cause, um, you know, it can cause stress or it can cause inefficiency um, because you might get overly tired um, of thinking of the same thing. So the always, always, always the best advice for this card is try to separate yourself as much as you can from whatever it is that's bothering you so you can step away from it. And then when you come back to whatever this is, um, you may have a clear insight, but you've got some, a lot of you guys might be doing some, um, uh, too much thinking about something. Definitely, definitely don't do that. All right. The next card we have is projection. A lot of you guys um, are feeling um, this sense of the mirror card. I call this the mirror card. You know, you might be feeling that you're interacting with other people uh, in a way where um, you're realizing that you're bringing people into your life that are an outcome of how you feel, think, and act. So people are, the way you treat other people, for instance, um, you know, and how they react towards you, you're watching and paying attention to the, to, to the way that people are reacting and how you're interacting with other people. And I think you're realizing, you're seeing that you are bringing certain people into your life um, because of the way your energy is. Um, a lot of times that's the case. We bring in, we bring the people in our lives, the energies in our lives of people of how we are. Um, sometimes we don't always see that, but it's the truth. When we, how we react and what kind of people we hang out with, what kind of people we associate with a lot of times has to do with the fact that we're bringing those types of people into our life. So this card also doesn't just have to do with that, but it definitely has to do with, um, you guys are going to be doing a lot of uh, reviewing and feeling the, 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 the reality of, uh, the way you interact with other people and the way you see other people react to you and how much of the, how much, how, how much responsibility you take in relationships as well. Okay. The outcome is morality. So you guys are going to be doing a lot of thinking about what's right, what's wrong, what's moral, what's immoral, um, what your belief system is, um, again, it has a lot to do with, um, maybe you did things that you thought were always the right way. And now all of a sudden you're doing things like, oh, that wasn't, that's not right. I'm going to do things differently than I normally do. And you, maybe you're feeling like a rebel. That doesn't necessarily mean you're a rebel. It just could mean that your belief system believes that you're being a rebel, uh, when maybe, uh, you know, you're just, you're basically breaking the chains. Okay. The rebel card is somebody who, who breaks the chains of doing things the same way all the time. Maybe you just felt you had to always do things a certain way. And now you're questioning yourself. Look, I don't have to do things that way anymore. Um, I don't necessarily believe that way anymore. I don't necessarily, um, look at people the same way anymore. I don't necessarily, um, have to do things that way or, or believe that things are, are bad if they're not bad. Uh, maybe one, one, one time, maybe in the past you've thought something was, it was, um, negative and now it's not negative anymore. 
So you guys are gonna be doing a lot of mind work, thinking about what's right, what's wrong for you, what's right for you, what's not right for you, um, what it is that you would like to bring into your life. Because it sounds like, it seems like you guys are doing a lot of searching, um, soul searching to really, really find the root of your, you, your identity, what you believe in and what's right for you. And that's what the morality card, it's really about what's right for you, Libra. What is correct for Libra? Okay. All right. So aren't you reading here? We have the page of cups and this is a, a young, uh, this is usually a younger person. It's a, usually a, it's a water sign. It's a Scorpio, Pisces or Cancer. It is a uh, person who is here. They have, emo uh, they're very emotional. They're very kind. They're very loving. And they're here for you in this reading. Uh, maybe this is your friend. Maybe this is somebody who's going to be there to listen to um, your emotions and feelings. They have a lot to offer you. So this could be a friend. So the main energy we have for you is the death card in reverse. So Libra, you guys are in the month of May are coming to the end of a cycle, the end of a major, uh, transformative cycle situation. Um, it is the end. It's coming to the end. Um, it could be a relationship. It could be a career. It could be a work situation. Um, it could be the end of a way of thinking and believing. And you guys have a lot of mind cards. So, um, you you might be ending something and questioning again. It's like the projection card. It's like, you're trying to end something or there's a little bit of a delay in ending something though this month. Um, probably by the end of the month of May, you will have end, you will end it, but it looks like there's, there's some kind of delay in an end to something. You may be holding on to something that needs to end. Okay. It needs to end. So guys, it's time to let it go. But before you let it go, you're just questioning, you're in your mind. You're going, wow, I can't believe this is ending because I didn't think it was going to end this way, or I didn't think it was going to end. Um, and now because it is ending, you're just like questioning yourself to craziness. You're going into your mind. You're really, really going within you're, you're taking finally you're you guys are really doing well. You're being, you're becoming, instead of being so fixed, um, in the logic, in the way things have to be in rules and regulation, you guys are really opening your mind. You're, you're, you're kind of breaking free of that, that need to be logical, correct, uh, by the book or, you know, one way of thinking. It looks like you guys are breaking out of that. And you're now like taking a bigger picture, a bigger stance on your situation. And you're opening more of a creative side to yourself. And you're looking, looking deeper into relationships and that you have with others and how you've contributed and um you know something's going to end for you guys and it's a good thing because it's time when something ends it's it's time's expired it's time if things don't end we don't evolve as people we don't grow our minds don't grow and um it seems like you guys are in high need of a transformation within your mind and your thoughts and the way you've been thinking and doing things and questioning yourself and questioning others and situations. So it's really a great time for you guys to step outside the box and really see things in a different way. And you guys really, really are. And this is fantastic. And the card, the challenge card, uh, that's crossing you this month is the four of cups. Um, you know, this is somebody who is feeling kind of bummed out maybe stagnant, kind of bored, um, not really like kind of ungrateful. It's kind of like the pouting card. I like to call it the powder. You know, this is somebody who's like, I'm not happy with what I have. And, um, I refuse to take anything else. I refuse to see anything else because I'm just going to be upset. Um, therefore they're blocking themselves with a little bit of a negative energy. Um, they're blocking themselves from seeing, there's more to life than just what they have, which they have three cups. Um, they don't want, they don't want these cups. They're bored. You know, they're bored. There's nothing wrong with being bored. That helps us. It's, it's triggered to let us know that there's more out there, but you know, there's in that, there's there that there's that in between phase and that's somebody's in that in between phase where they're not really seeing that there is anything else because they're a little bit negative. 
Um, not always do we have to know you guys what's the next step is or what else is out there. If we're not happy where we're, where we're at, we just need to be, have faith and be positive with our outlook. That way, um, we're open to receive new things that are coming our way. And there is something new coming. It's this card also says there is something new coming, but you need to be able to, um, be positive and have faith and open your heart and mind to possibilities. Otherwise you will stay stagnant. So that is your challenge Libra. And it looks like you guys are doing really well because it looks like you really are questioning things. Now, this is what you want to do. You want to question. It is time for a morality check in your life. It's time for you to rebel Libra. It's time for you to cut the chains, the bad chains, the chains that have been holding you back that have stagnated your beliefs that have caused you to, you know, um, possibly be in unhealthy relationships or be deceived in relationships. It's time for you to break away and see what, what else is out there to be open. And by this death, by the end, the ending of whatever this situation is this month of May, it is going to, um, bring you this fourth cup. It is going to bring you the hand of something new, which will get you unstuck and it will, you'll become more grateful. So the story here, Libra, is you're going through a change. This change is magnific magnificent. I can't even say the word. It's really big. And, I'm, and I know that it's, it might be hard for some of you because you, some of you are, are trying to question things, right? Um, but this is a great opportunity. You guys, um, to, you're going to, once you, and once this ends, once you see, uh, that this ending is a positive thing, you're going to, the universe is going to hand you a gift immediately. It's going to hand you hope. It's going to hand you a new option that you did not see before. So don't be afraid to let it go. Don't be afraid to end, let this end in peace. Let this end this job relationship or career or, um, way of thinking, let it end you guys. Um, because you've got this person might inspire you. Okay. This person might inspire you and show you this fourth cup which is a way out of being stuck, a way out of feeling ungrateful and bored and unhappy. It's a way out of that, you guys. This is a gift from God. So let's go ahead and pull the next card. In the recent past, past you guys had a lot of passion or there was something you had passion for. You would have went through a lot of obstacles, obstacles because you had so much desire that you really went through a lot of... Um, to get, to get what you wanted, you went through a lot of difficulties, okay, in your past. What's currently available for you is the sun in reverse. This is fantastic. Again, this is amazing, your reading. Um, I know it's these cards look negative, but you have to realize your reading is so amazingly positive because this is the sun. Um, it's here for you right now, and the sun says that it's shining on you, and it's you're getting ready to explode into a new way of feeling a new way of being it, it, this you're going to be you're going to be placed in feeling alive free with freedom you're going to feel freedom for the first time in a long time you're going to feel independence like a freedom upon you where you're not worried about your past you're not bored about your future you're not worried about your future you're just in the here and now and you're enjoying it and you're not worried you and you have so much positivity upon you libra that it's going to make your future uh, be positive because when we are positive, when we are in our realm, when we're grounded, when we're just living that life, all good things are, it's the law of attraction. They come to you. So the universe is supporting you, but you do have to, the sun in reverse also says there's a little bit of work that needs to be done in order for you to have this full, amazing benefit. You still have it like this, but in order to get the full 100% benefit, you guys, this is what you need to do. You need to um, do whatever it takes to allow the bitterness of this ending, allow the ending to, to gracefully end, allow it to gracefully go. Don't hold on, don't cling on, don't miss it, don't be ungrateful, don't be unhappy, let it go, it's time and be grateful even though it hurts or you're bummed out about it be grateful for it because as soon as you will are uh, you know do that you guys are going to have this full benefit of the sun you're going to 
no longer feel stuck or bitter or ups, uh, unhappy. And this ending will not, it'll be disappeared because it will be over and you're going to have a new happiness. I'm so excited for you guys. I'm getting crazy. Um, the next card we have for you is the five of swords. This is in the position Libra of how you are, how you're, you're what you're, what you're striving for, you're hoping for, you're striving for. Um, and what that is, is you're, you're hoping to win a battle or you're just hoping to not have any more battles, uh, verbal battles. It looks like you might've been disagreeing with other people, or there might've been a power struggle verbally between you and somebody else arguing back and forth. Um, and you know, somebody might be, somebody might've been really controlling and, you know, like, you know, winning the argument. Um, so you guys either want to win an argument or you guys are really just wanting to move past and forward onto the next level. You know, you're done with any arguing, you're done with any, um, you know, uh, uh, conflict with others. You just want peace, you know, and some of you want to just stand up for yourself and you do want to speak your mind and you don't, and, and you may, you know, you may have to stand up for yourself and speak your, speak your mind and, 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 and it might hurt other people, but you know what, that, if that's how you're feeling, um, if you need to rebel right now, and maybe you never spoke up, maybe now it was your time to speak up and it's going to hurt other people. It's going to bother other people. And you weren't, you didn't know if that was a good thing or bad thing, but sometimes we do have to stand up for ourselves. Now that doesn't mean we need to be mean on purpose. So if this is a lower energy of our ego saying, oh, I got to win the argument. I just got to win the argument. That's not good. But if you really just need to stand up for yourself and speak your mind, um, you know, that's okay. You got to do that. So it's either, or for Libra, it's, it's one or the other for you. Some of you are want, needing to speak up. Um, this car, this card really represents separating. It means it's, it, this card really signifies going your separate ways and moving, um, on to better, uh, better, um, a better life, separating, moving on, getting past any arguments, um, and moving forward onto a new journey. Uh, the next card we have is the page of swords. So the page of swords could be a younger person. It could be, a, or it could just signify somebody who's a little bit immature. This is usually an air sign. It's a, definitely it's a Libra, Gemini or Aquarius. So this could be you Libra, um, Libra. Um, this is a card of somebody, um, being a little bit upset, being a little bit scorned from arguments or, um, somebody who's a little bit gossipy and, and, and jealous and they like to cause rumors or they, they speak very rudely and immature in such an immature way that it, that it, um, it, it, it it's, it, you know, it's, it's, it's sometimes lies, deceptions or rude comments, um, because this person could be bitter. So if you guys are like this again, um, it's time to, bring the sun out, um, which could be, you know, to get the full benefits of the sun, it's saying, let things end gracefully, um, forgive and forget, let people go speak up for yourself. Definitely. But move past this negativity. Um, and anybody gossiping around you, um, you know, speak up for yourself and then let it go. Um, but this person might be coming around you. All right. The next card we have is how you see your situation, Libra. It looks like you really need some answers, some clarity. You might be losing, you might be really confused right now. Um, you might be really confused about some emotions and feelings that you're having. Um, you're really confused about your situation. You're confused about this ending. You're confused about this you know, these gossip, the gossip, uh, or this negative person. Um, and you're confused because you just, you know, you're not, you don't really see a way forward or you don't really see what to do next emotionally. So I, a lot of you need to take some time and go within and meditate. So you can find these answers again. You don't want to be so caught up in your mind. You guys trying to figure things out that you go crazy. Um, you don't want to go over overboard with your thinking. Okay. It's not that difficult. It's, it's, it's yes. Question. It's time to question things. It's time to do things in a different way. Okay. And it's time to really see the truth within you and yourself and other people and 
how we mirror each other, you know, how we mirror people. Um, if you, there's, it's too much to get into right now, but, uh, if some, if you guys want to, um, get some more, um, information on mirroring, it's called mirroring. Um, I'll try to find a link for it, uh, because it's a very good subject to learn if it's something that you're new to. Um, I, I, I spent quite a bit of my life doing that, uh, learning to, 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 um, the, the technique of mirroring. And it's just, it's, it's such a, it's, it's amazing. Anyway, the next card we have is judgment, uh, people surround in your surrounding situation, in your environment, family, friends, work, whatever's going on in your, um, environment, people around you. We have the justice card in reverse. Things are not going fair for the other person involved. Whatever this ending is, whatever this arguing is, um, whatever this boredom is, it's not going well for the other person involved. There, there, there may they may if it's a legal situation, they may not be getting what they feel they deserve. Um, they may not be getting what they wanted. It's not going to work out for them. So they definitely might be the ones that starting this. Uh, you know, rumors or bad conversation, um, because they're not getting what they want legally in a legal situation. Um, they may not be getting the court may be, uh, on your side and not theirs. So maybe that's why there was a delay. Maybe they're going to file something new or uh, start an argument. Okay. So the next card is the 10 of swords in reverse. This is in your hopes and fears section. And it's saying that, um, you guys are letting go of the burden. You're hoping just to let go of all the endings and the trauma and the drama and the, the, um, horrible obligations and the stress. You guys are hoping to let it go this month, to let it off your back, to let it go, to say goodbye to this, to this, to the end, to let it go, to let the end happen. All right. And the outcome is a great ending. We have the three of swords. The ending for May is healing. You're over it. You know, at one point you might've been heartbroken over a situation, a relationship, a marriage, a breakup, uh, a work situation, whatever. Um, but guess what? In May, it's as if it didn't happen because you guys are over it. You're no longer in pain, heartache. Uh, you see it's a positive thing by the end of this month. And, um, you know, it wasn't meant to be, you know, it was not a good situation. And now you don't have to feel the pain anymore because you're healed. So the sun is coming out. That's why it's in reverse because maybe in the middle of this month, May or the beginning of May, um, you know, you have some things here to deal with legally. Um, this person's going to be, um, upset because the, the case did not come out in their favor, um, which has caused some confusion here a little bit. I don't know, but you guys, uh, are going to be free from this situation. You have a new outlook on life. I'm really happy for you, Libra. This is, this is, I know the cards are, are semi-negative, but they're, they're like so positive. So any of you that are still feeling the negativities of this ending, um, of course, there's going to be always some trace endings of the, of the endings of something wrapped up here, but it's over. Uh, by the end of May, you guys are going to be a new person. Um, you're going to have a new outlook on life. This is going to be over and done with. Um, you're going to have a new way of thinking about people, things in your life. You're going to start doing things in a different way. Um, rebellious meaning, and it just, it just breaking the chains of doing things the way you always did. Um, and now you're realizing things, um, really what is right for you and what's wrong for you and what type of people you want to mirror in your life, who you want to bring into your life now. So you don't have to have heartache anymore and you don't want to have to have, uh, you know, conflict and arguments. So guys, this is great. The only warning I have for you is do not get too wrapped up in your mind. Oh, I think I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. The only warning here is, um, don't get caught up too much in your mind. You guys, um, don't worry yourself and try to under, try to, uh, understand things too much because you're, um, you're not going to understand it. Whatever's going on here. There's too much craziness going on. There's somebody here starting, um, 
rumors, gossip, they're upset, and um, there's a little bit of a delay. 